Hello. Please quit smiling and leave behind. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite products that I literally got for free. Shout out to Makeup Brands for sending me these through PR. I, I wanna let you guys know that this video is not about me bragging about the free stuff that I got or anything. Literally, I work my ass off on social media, creating so much free content for a lot of brands in order to get products sent out to me, if that makes any sense. So I have a bag full of makeup products over here that I really want to share with you guys. A lot of it is high-end luxury, hence why I wanted to film this video because I wanted to let you guys know that even though I got these makeup through PR, these are actually makeup products that I would buy again with my own money. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this type of video. It's very different to what I usually film, but I thought it would be fun and cool and different. I also want to talk to you guys about some products in here that I never really actually spoke about on my social media platform. So it's gonna be a really fun, cute video for you guys. And before I start the video, make sure you subscribe hit the bell button please. It'll mean so much to me if you did that because I'm trying to grow my little community over here. I'm gonna use two different types of primers and the reason why is because my skin is all over the place. It's oily, combination, dehydrated, dry, flaky, crusty. It is everything under the sun. So what I wanna do is I wanna use the Laura Mercier Blurring Primer on the center of my face because that's where I get really oily. So I put it on my T-zone, the center of my face and on my chin as well because my chin gets really oily as well. And what I love about this product is that there's no silicone in there so it doesn't make my skin feel greasy or anything and when I apply this product on my skin is like blurred like literally face tuned the f out now i'm gonna go ahead and use the bobby brown extra illuminating moisture balm i don't think many people talk about this product and i'm really enjoying using it this is basically like an illuminating cream i'm just gonna use one palm i'm gonna put it on the highest points of my cheeks underneath my eyebrows and just across my forehead i'm gonna avoid putting this product on the center of my face because that's where my large pores are texture skin is and that is something i do not want it in Enhance. Before I apply the foundation, I actually want to go ahead and just mist my skin a little bit. And I am in love with the Fisali Rose Gold Skin Mist. This is in incredible i love it so much because it kind of feels like a serum a little bit oily but not too oily now i know that's kind of scary using a face mist that feels a little bit oily but it's not that oily i don't know how to describe it it's just so like lightweight where you can really feel the moisture and i have the trouble where i have so many face mists but only very few of them actually hydrates my skin i feel like a lot of face mists out there are a bit like catfish you know they say it's hydrating i go ahead and put it on i'm like it feels like tap water's on my face but this, because it's got that little bit of that serum -y type of hydrating feel, it proper like makes my skin feel so good. And what this mist is gonna do is just gonna give my skin a little bit of extra hydration. So when I go ahead and put my foundation on, my textured skin won't cling onto the foundation too much. I find that when I have textured dry skin, it makes my foundation look bad. But if your skin is like nice and moisturized and primed, your foundation is gonna sit really nicely on top of your skin. Okay, so for foundation, this is what I have been dying to talk to you guys about because I feel like not many people talk about its products and it definitely deserves a lot more love and recognition. So this is the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. I am in the shade Nude 4. I really like this foundation because it's just so nice and lightweight. So whenever I have a day where I want to cover my skin but I want my skin to breathe and I don't want to look too cakey or too like beat up. And when I mean beat up, I mean like beat up with makeup. I go ahead and use this foundation. I'm going to use the MAC 188S brush. So this is like a really nice small stippling brush. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. It's just such an easy foundation to work with and it blends so quickly as well. And because I squirted it on the back of my hand, I can go ahead and just dip in with my stippling brush and just buff it out. And you can still see my real skin. And that is the type of look I really wanna go for today. I kinda wanna go for a look where my skin is nice, clean, glowy, but you can still really see it. So I'm not afraid to show like my flaws, my imperfections, my spots, my texture. I kind of just want to show how healthy my skin can look and with the help of makeup, it can really help bring out the glow within me as well. Next up is concealer. Now this is the Hourglass Concealer and oh my God, I am such a concealer hoe. I have so many concealers, it's actually unbelievable. And I am definitely the type of person where I prefer concealer over foundation most of the time. The reason why I feel like that is because I feel like concealer can really help bring out the features within 
within me and really help like enhance my skin and I love this Hourglass Concealer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer and I love the applicator as well. It's just like a really nice little coffee bean shape. I'm gonna put some on the inner corner of my eyes and then just spread it out underneath it. I'm gonna use the Morphe M523 brush, use code LING for 10% off at Morphe. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. And it's so lightweight as well, this concealer. Like it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel crazy, it doesn't feel cakey. I'm just gonna blend the concealer right up to my temple. Now I need to contour, oh yes. I have been obsessed with the Cream Contour Clinique. This is the chubby stick one. This is so nice. I don't know why it's all the way up like that. Wow, probably tried to do a thumbnail. <laughs> what I love about the Clinique Chubby Stick is that whenever I put this on and blend it out, it just looks so like natural. Like it doesn't stamp on your face. Have you ever used like a cream contour stick or like a cream contour concealer? And when you go ahead and blend it out, it proper like is a harsh contour line. What I love about this is that it literally blends and there's like a really subtle contour rather than like a harsh brown line. That's why I love this product. I'm just gonna go ahead and suck in my cheeks and apply this contour contour on. Instead of using a traditional beauty blend to go ahead and blend my concealer, I'm actually going to use an angle brush. Now I love an angle brush when it comes to blending out my bronzer, contour and everything. This is the Beauty Pie Angled Brush. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. And then for little areas like underneath my lip, I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend that out actually because it's quite a small place. And then to blend out my nose contour, I'm just going to use a short stipply brush like this. This is from Shiseido. You can use any brush that kind of has like a similar style to this. I know I'm using a lot of cream products in this video and I got one more cream product for my face and then I'm gonna move on to powder because I feel like you know we're getting a bit bored of using cream products now but I don't know what it is about cream products but it just makes my skin look so much more hydrated and more awake. For blush I'm gonna use nude sticks. Now this is the magnetic lip plush paint. Oh my god it was so hard to like say those two words. I actually love to use this as blusher because it just gives me that really nice little bit of a, you know, rosy cheek look. Just applying it on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm actually gonna use my fingers to blend this out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use a beauty blender to blend out the edges. The reason why I use my fingers to blend this product out is because I feel like the beauty blender kind of sucks it all up. Moving on to powder now. I am obsessed with the Nikia Joy Cosmetics powder. This is so, so, so good, so underrated, and it just smells so delicious. It is the finest, one of the most lightweight, loose powders I have ever tried. And it just smells so delicious as well. I'm gonna pick it up with a tulip brush. This is the Spectrum A04. Just gonna go ahead and just pat this underneath my eyes. I'm not gonna bake today because my foundation is so lightweight and so is my concealer, so there's no need to actually bake. I'm just gonna go ahead and just lightly add this powder. I'm gonna avoid putting powder on my contour and on my cheeks because I'm gonna use another product for that. I'm gonna take a break and focus on other areas of my face because I'm getting a bit tired of my base makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the Too Faced Lip Injection on my lips. This is gonna like help give my lips a bit of a plum and also hydrate them. I was actually meant to put this on at the beginning of the video, but then I completely forgot. So, um, yeah. Moving on to the eyebrows now, which is one of the most important parts of doing my face. I'm gonna use Benefit Cosmetics. I'm gonna use the conditioning primer. This is gonna help prep my eyebrows. And then with the spoolie on the Precisely My Brow Pencil, because you guys know how much I love this product, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my eyebrow hairs upwards. That way it'll give my eyes a little bit of a lift so I look more awake and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows using the precisely my brow in the shade six what a difference eyebrows make oh my god I look so much more put together now and then to make sure my eyebrows stay on all day I'm gonna use the benefit brow setter this will literally make my eyebrows stay on the whole day Literally. Oh yes. Oh my God, I love putting on this product because you can really see my brow hairs like, hello. Moving back to the face, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my skin just a little bit more and I'm gonna use the Smashbox Cali Contour. I used to work for Smashbox and honestly, it was one of the best jobs that I've ever had and I'm not just saying that. So I'm gonna use this really lovely palette. Honestly, it's so cute. I'm gonna use this shade right here. And then for blusher, okay, so I never used to try Estee Lauder until this year. Yeah, so shout out to Estee Lauder. Thank you so much for 
for gifting me some of your amazing products because I honestly cannot stop using the Estee Lauder blusher. This is in the shade Sensuous Rose. It's such a pretty dusty rose color. Oh, look at that. It just really like amps up the nude sticks blusher underneath it. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Fisali Rose Gold Mist again. Fan my face down. Oh, this feels so good right now. Whoa. Okay, so moving on to highlighter now. I am in love with this product and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold palette. This is so bomb and my favorite shade is the one in the middle this is number two it's so pretty on the skin and i cannot wait to show you guys how it looks oh yes oh my god so cute it just hits the spot right there oh yeah and because my skin is like glowing underneath because of the bobby brown moisturizer it just like gives it that extra like amp Moving on to the eyes now. So I usually don't use eyeshadow primer, but I really wanted to play around with eyeshadow primer today and just share with you guys, if I was to use an eyeshadow primer, what would I actually use? And I would use the Too Faced 24 hour eyeshadow insurance thingy. What's this called again? Shadow insurance primer. This is the one that I'm gonna be using on my eyelid today. I'm just gonna go ahead and dab this all over my eyelid. So this eyeshadow primer is meant to help bring out the pigment within the shadow. And also it's meant to make the shadow last longer throughout the day. So. I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but have you ever like put on an eyeshadow and it looks great, but then after like four hours, it starts like fading and disappearing. This primer is meant to hold onto the shadow and make it last longer throughout the day for you guys. But the eyeshadow palette that I could be using today is this. Shout out to Cult Beauty because you guys were the one who actually gifted this eyeshadow palette to me. And I was so shocked when you gave me this eyeshadow palette, Cult Beauty, because I didn't think I would ever get a Natasha Denona palette because first of all, her eyeshadow palettes are extremely expensive like this is 111 pounds the most i spent on an eyeshadow palette was probably like 50 pounds that was a huda beauty rose gold palette yeah i just couldn't believe it when i opened up a parcel and i got this so cannot wait to make a look for you guys this is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette and i really like it i'm gonna dip into rope and just put this on my crease and this is gonna be the transition color. And then I'm gonna dip into Pure and just smoke out my crease. Look how airbrushed this eyeshadow looks already. It's honestly like so, like what the hell? And also the feel of her eyeshadow, it's like pressed and really, really soft. It almost feels like it can crumble in your fingertips. It feels really delicate. I fancy mixing up my gold eyeshadow, so I'm gonna dip into Imperia and Orion, which is so beautiful, those two eyeshadows. Let me just show you guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is Imperia and this is Aurea. Look how pretty these two are. Oh, those two mixed together, it will make a cute baby. And that's how it looks when it's swatched as well. So cute. This one at the top, ooh, oh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Imperia on first. I'm gonna put it over my eyelid. I'm preventing the gold shadow to go all the way up to my eyebrow. I don't want that. I kind of just want to sweep it over my eyelid like this. So it kind of looks like a cut crease, but it's not really a cut crease. And then I'm gonna dip into Oreo and just dust it across the eyelid just to give it a little bit of a bang, you know? Just gonna give a little bit of dimension because I feel like Imperia is a bit too yellow and dark. I kind of just want to amp it up a little bit and just add a little bit of something just to lighten it. Up. Now for eyeliner, you guys know how much I love doing an eyeliner. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Fly Liner. Love this product so much. To help fill in my waterline, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath one, actually. This is such a good eyeliner. It's so creamy and it literally stays on the skin, like literally almost all day. Oh, look how black that liner is. Love it so much. If you're one of those people where you fidget so much whenever you put eyeliner on, this is so soft. I don't think you'd be able to feel it. I'm gonna dip into Antique and just buff out my lower lash line. At first, I was not feeling this eyeshadow look and I was so nervous that you guys wouldn't like it. But now that my lashes are on and things are a little bit more blended than before, I'm actually really liking it. I actually took off my lip injection lip gloss thingy because when it comes to doing my actual lip liner and lipstick and everything, I don't want something slippery on my lips. I kind of want it to be like matte and dry. So for 
lips, I'm gonna go ahead and use these three products right here. I don't think many people talk about the Laura Mercy lip liners. Their lip liners are surprisingly really good and creamy and also they come in a wooden component and this one is in the shade Chestnut. I really like this shade and I've been using it quite a lot recently. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Huda Beauty Lipstick in Anniversary. This lipstick also looks good on the center of the lips as well. For lip gloss, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this brand new lip gloss. It's been out for about, I think, a month now. And this is the Morphe Time Swati Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Boss Tycoon. This is a bomb, bomb, bomb shade. Let me just show you guys. Oh, look at that. I just love how it's like got like, this golden bronzy undertone. Like when I first saw the packaging, I was like, it's so matte, why is it matte? But then when I went ahead and tried this on, I was like, wow. Every time I do like a nude lip and I really want to gloss it up, I will use this shade, it's just so good. And that is the end of the look. Wow, I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial slash review video slash, I don't know what else to call it, but it was really fun to talk about makeup products that I really love and adore, especially talking about makeup products that doesn't really get that much attention I really hope that this video made your day because I know with what's going on it just feels like it's kind of like draining it's like it just keeps going on and on and on I know this has got nothing to do with the video but I thought I'd just throw it out there anyway I've actually started journaling which has been so helpful and you know we're all in this together and I just really hope that you guys are okay and that you're safe and that I'm thinking about you guys every day as well but yeah I really hope that this video made your day better. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. Just let you guys know, in case you didn't know, I upload every week, twice a week, every Wednesday and Sunday. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. I was literally filming a TikTok video. I'm not joking guys, let me show you all. Oh, this is my TikTok ring light holding my phone. I'm trying to film like a TikTok while filming other content, which is much harder than you think. But yeah, I'm having so much fun on TikTok. So it means so much to me if you guys could follow me on there and show me some love as well. I shall see you in the next video and enjoy the bloopers, guys. Mwah. Bye. Kind of just want to let you get a lot. <laughs> oh, my teeth are yellow, so yellow. Where am I going with this? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, re I, re I really hope that made sense because I don't think it did. <laughs> what, 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 what? Wow, it's just sound like I've tried to do a wrap or something. Oh, I need a water break. <sighs> don't focus on me, focus on the products. Come on. This is the beauty. Wow. I love, I love, I love. I just love makeup, let's just say that. Focus, 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 focus. Uh, 